Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could run any process or program using the trusted installer account or the system account, that type of thing, uh, using a free tool called RunX. So there are two executables once you download it. There's the RunX EXE, which is for the GUI, then the RunX command for the command line information. So if you look at their readme here, so RunX EXE for the graphical user interface, and you can use command line arguments with the graphical user interface if you want to. And you could also drag and drop a file into the window to have it automatically populate if you don't want to browse for it. And then there's the command line version if you use that for scripting purposes. But we're just going to be going over the GUI in this video. So once you double click it to run it, say yes to the UAC prompt. And then you could use some of the built-in examples here. So regedit, for example, command task manager. And then here's where you'd add your command line arguments. And here are your options. Uh, basic user, one has current user with admin rights, system user, and trusted installer. So if we pick the regedit, for example, click on run. So it opened it using the trusted installer permissions, even though you're not going to know for sure, but you're going to have to take its word for it. But if we were to do it again, so each time you close, you got to open it up again. And let's say we do basic user which can't run regedit because it doesn't have admin rights, and we'll see what happens here. Requires elevation, so it needs current user with admin or better. And then if you want to browse to your own program here, so let's say we want to do this precise stress executable here, and we'll do that as in trusted installer as well. Okay, so you can see that opened up there in the background. And let's try that one more time. But we'll run it as a basic user and see what happens. So in this case, it tells you that you don't need admin rights to run this program. All right, so once again, just download the zip file, extract the files, run the Run X EXE for the GUI, pick your executable, add any command line arguments if you want, pick which account you want to run it as, and click on Run, and that's all there is to it. So I will put a link in the description where you could download Run X, and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.